2008, Jasmine stood before her fellow articulators for the first time as speaker, as a speaker. 18 months and 30 plus speeches later, she comes forward to deliver the speech that will allow her to claim advanced communicator silver status. Yes! Jasmine, as she presents her last speech from the special occasion speech manual, accepting an award entitled Nobody's Fool. <laughs> and thought, that's good. I'll store it away for future reference. Mm -hmm. When Michelle invited me to Toastmasters at first, I thought, that's a good thing, but 7.30 in the morning? <laughs> I'm ashamed to admit it, but more often than I would like to acknowledge, sunrise has marked the close of a day rather than the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> There's no tomfoolery in that. <laughs> but I have reformed my ways, thanks to Toastmasters. It's been a great source of motivation for me. The first time I stood here, I turned my eyes to the page as I read what was supposed to be in Toastmasters circles the icebreaker. <laughs> but as I stood here, there was nothing cool inside or outside. Oh. My heart was racing and the temperature on my skin was hot. <laughs> I'd like to think that after 18 months, I know that I'm a lot more comfortable up here. Mm. And that, in great part, is due to all of you. To each one of you who took time to let me know that I wasn't speaking very well enough. To each one of you who let me know that rocking, we're not out of boat, Jasmine. <laughs> I greatly appreciate that. Because without the ding of the bell, without those evaluations, it's very difficult to really pace yourself and to become aware of certain things. Because even when you look at the video, you can see certain things, but they don't register. And when someone makes you aware of it, all of a sudden, as you review your speeches, you start to see and you start to hear with a different eye and a different ear. So I really appreciate that. Ben Franklin says that wise men don't need advice and fools won't take it. Well, I have not been a fool. And I think that as a, I like to classify myself as a Western scholar, I have readily accepted advice. And that has been instrumental, as I said, in my growth. And I appreciate that. Toastmasters has been a wonderful doorway to many opportunities for me. Because as my speaking skills have come easier to me, I've had more opportunities to do things. One of the things that I have done that I have thoroughly enjoyed and I would encourage each one of you to do because I think it's a very fundamental skill. I started a public speaking club for young people. For two years I've had the privilege of running a public speaking club with a 4-H program. And I have seen those young people develop their public speaking skills from people like me who were married to the paper to starting to move away from the lectern, starting to use body language. And so while we come here each Thursday morning and we have an opportunity to develop our own skills, when you find something good, for sure. And who better to share it with than someone from the next generation? As with any wonderful opportunity, I've also taken some responsibilities. And that is serving as an officer in the club. If you want something to be better, if you want something to continue, then you have to be a part of it, like Bob said. If you're not a part of a solution, and you're a part of it. If 
you want a strong club, then you have to be a strong member. Get involved. And I'm very great, grateful to Toastmasters for the program that they have set up. The program is designed for our success. They take you initially through baby steps and to baby steps, both as a speaker and as a leader. The icebreaker, who knows you better than you? Sergeant of Arms, each one of us can come and say good morning, even though public speaking is identified second only to death in terms of fears, but each one of us can come and say good morning and bring, and as Bob has done and Paul and myself in the past, bring the materials in so that we can vote. Bring the materials in so that we can keep the record. So I thank you for your support as club members. I thank you for your words of encouragement. I also thank you very much for candidly pointing out my strengths and my weaknesses. Now, truthfully speaking, sometimes the truth was like lemon, and sometimes it was like sugar, mm -hmm. but it made for lemonade, <laughs> <laughs> right? And most of us enjoy lemonade. So I thank you as I enjoy my lemonade, having reached silver status, and I encourage each one of you, follow the plan. It takes work, but Paul, as our educational, our VP of education, he will work with you to make sure that you too are able to reach whatever level in the Toastmaster program you target for yourself. Thank you.